Well, you can't say you didn't see that one coming as the Phillies lose 10-1 to to the Cleveland Indians as they lose the series in Cleveland. And um, after scoring nine runs the night before, they come out and only score one pitiful run. Just one. And that was in the top of third inning. Jay Tumuto doubled the left center and Kingery scored. That was the only run you get in this ballgame. One run. The bullpen absolutely explodes in the seventh inning. Vince Velasquez can't go deep in the games. We've seen that all year long. So you can't really sit here and, you know, complain about it because that's just who the man is, of course. So you can't really complain about that. But all, all in all, just a terrible performance out of this Phillies team tonight. They look so pitiful. Sunday night baseball, not that it means anything. We're already, we're already out of the playoffs. Not that it means anything. The Eagles already lost in a horrible fashion. I haven't even made that video yet. I will after this one. That was already horrible. And then you have the Phillies. No one even cares about the Phillies anymore. I mean, we all, every, every Philadelphia fan knows that they're out of the play. They're not going to make the playoffs. But just to add insult to injury, we are already the, – the, the Phillies just did horrible too. They snuck up the place too. Not that it matters because they're already – you know, they're not going to make the playoffs anyways. Bryce Harper doubled in the top of the first inning. He got a walk. His 98th of the season, two away from 100. The Phillies get on a flight and head to Washington probably like really, really soon. It'll only take them about an hour to get there. They'll be in Washington – you know, by tonight, they're getting the hotel room. And you got a five game series. You got to grind through these next eight games of the season. There's eight games left, ladies and gentlemen. This was game 154. We got eight more videos recapping this game. That is just crazy. This season is, this season flew by. And this month of September and August have flown by. It flew. I mean, we, it literally just felt like yesterday I was back in school. I've already been back in school for almost three. I've been back in school for three weeks. This is going to be my fourth week. It's crazy. It's already flying by. It, time flies, man. It really does. It's already flying by. Nuts. It's almost going to be October already. Already the first month of school has already gone by. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. But, um, yeah, guys, this is it. I mean, like, we're, we're done. We're done. 10-1, your final score in this one. Absolutely terrible. And you got Carlos Santana. He just absolutely kills us. I'm so happy he's not in the NL East because I tell you what, I would not want to face this guy. He just has our – he just loves to stick it up to us. Since we traded him. He's so annoying. Big really. I don't like him. That Oscar Mercado. That guy is so annoying too. Another guy that wouldn't want to face two three run home runs with this man of two nights. That guy is so annoying. Um you got Puig doing some damage. You got Reyes. You got Free. I mean, this guy, I mean, these guys are just better than we are. They're tied for the second wild card spot with the Rays. Hopefully, I'd like to see the Rays do it. I don't I'm not in, I don't like the Indians. I don't like their fans. I just don't really like Cleveland. So I'm hoping that they don't. They don't make it. Hope I'm rooting for Tampa Bay. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I just kind of have a soft spot for Tampa Bay. But anyway, um, yeah, guys, absolutely this pitiful. Pitiful. I mean, who were you really surprised to go to Washington, D.C. for five games? No, I'm looking forward to these next five games in D.C. Not that it means anything statistically in the standings. But I'm looking forward to it for, you know, player standpoint. Bryce Harper. I just, I just can't wait, man. I just can't wait. I'd love to see him battle against Max, Strauss, Corbin, I just love to see him go against against his. Well, Corbin wasn't his former teammate though, because you know Corbin wasn't in D.C. when he was there. But Strasburg and and uh, Max Scherzer, uh, you know, just even seeing him play against Trey Turner, Anthony Rendon, like former like his former teammates Juan Soto, it's just fun. It's just fun to watch. So I'm looking forward to that. But all in all, guys, I'm I'm glad I I I'm gonna, I like to forget about this series. Absolutely terrible. Last night's game was awesome. Nine four victory. Harper. Bruce Miller with two home runs. That was fantastic. This one, mm -mm. and this one isn't it. And Gabe Kapler took out all the starters. He took out Harper, took out, you know, a lot of other people as well. So let's look at the scoring summary in this one. JT Muto doubled the left center. King scored. It's now 1-0. Then Freeman grounded into a fielder's choice, and Santana scored. It's now tied at 1. Then Oscar Mercado homer to left. Perez and Flaherty scored. It's a three. It was a three-run shot. It's now 4-1. Then from the door, single to right, Flaherty scored. And uh, that was an error from Bryce Harper. And um, he did not play uh, – I didn't <clears> – <throat> he did not play it well. And um, it's now 5-1. So again, again, another back-to-back -back night, so we've had some errors. Yasiel Puig doubled to right center. Lindor scored and, and Santana scored and Mercado scored. That was a bases-clearing double, and it's now 8-1. Then Reyes hit a two-run shot. It's now 10-1. That's your ballgame. 10-1 in your final score. Bryce Harper, as I said, did. Unfortunately, he made an error in this one. 
But yeah, like I said, he's had a lot of he's had a good year. That's just only his fifth area, fifth area, fifth era of the season. Nowhere close to about how bad he was last year in, in uh, with Washington in the outfield. He was terrible. Sergio Hernandez 0 for four. Uh, JT Muto one for three, one RBI. Andrew Knapp, who came in after we all knew the ball game was over, 0 for one with a strikeout. Well, I guess Kapler knew that the game was over. He's like, okay, we're going to Washington D.C. for five games. We've got that doubleheader. Uh, so let's give the boys some rest. Not that it means anything, of course, in the standings, but you know, you don't want to overwork them one for two for harp one walk 98th of the year. Uh, that was his 34th double of the season. Jose Perel came in to play for him. 0 for one free Hoskins, 0 for three, two strikeouts. I don't care that he leads the national league and walks. I could give a crap. I don't care. 232 batting average. Absolutely disgraceful. I'm so done with Hoskins. Logan Morrison. 0 for one. Jay Bruce, 0 for 3, 1 strikeout. And Drugan, uh, 0 for 1, 1 strikeout. Segura, 0 for 3. Goslin, 0 for 1, with a strikeout. Brad Miller, 0 for 3, 2 strikeouts. Scott Kingery, 2 for 2, 1 run scored, 1 walk. Adam Hazley, 1 for 3, 1 strikeout. So that's your ballgame. Uh, let's look at take a look at the pitching summary. In this one, uh, Vin Velasquez, 4 and, four and 2 thirds, 5 hits, 4 runs. Only one of them earned 6 strikeouts. He did not pitch terrible. He did not pitch good. Um, obviously, you know, those runs weren't really earned. Segura, a yet again, another boneheaded decision. We make three errors in this one. Three errors. We are so sloppy. What is it with these Philadelphia teams not making the fundamental plays? I'm not going to knock Harper, you know, because, well, he's had a fantastic season defensively. So I'm not even going to mention that. You know what I'm going to mention? Gene Segura with his 20th A of the season. Another ground ball. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. How hard is it? And scoop it up. We got last name with another with a throwing error. Like, how hard is it just to make a clean play? Get your glove down. And you have Vin Velasquez also making an error, his fourth of the year. So this is why these runs aren't earned. I honestly think that if a pitcher makes an error, it should be an earned run because he did he did it to himself. I don't understand why baseball works like that. Like, you know, a pitcher, the pitcher, the guy who's throwing the pitch makes an error, but it's still an unearned run, even though he did it. I understand if one of his teammates says it, that makes sense. But if he did it, I think it should be an earned run. I don't know why baseball works like that. I think if the pitcher does it, then he should, it should be an earned run because he did it. Uh, so I don't really understand that rule, but whatever. Vincent, one and a third, one strikeout. Morin, two hits, four earned runs. He gets rocked, one walk. This is when the bullpen imploded. Cole Irvin, a third of an inning, one hit, one earned run, one strikeout. Ramos, two thirds of an inning, one hit, one earned run. One strikeout, one home run given up in an Austin Davis, an inning, and a strikeout. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, the Phillies lose 10-1 to the Cleveland Indians. Um, absolutely terrible. They look so bad in this one. They literally just look so bad. So bad. I mean, like, I'm just sick and tired of this team. I really am, man. I, I really am. Um, the only thing, I mean, if they, if they were playing, like, a team like, I don't know, um, the New York Mets, for example, like these next five games, I wouldn't even watch, to be honest. But since it's Washington, I think I want to watch because I like Max Bryce. Like, I like that, you know, like those two guys going against each other. I love that. I love it. Max uh, – and same goes with Strasburg and even Gorman too. It's fun to watch. So I'm kind of pumped up for this D.C. series. Uh, I haven't really been that this pumped about a series. You know we're not even going to make the playoffs. I'm just excited uh, for what's to come in this Washington series. Because we don't even play the Nationals until like May of twenty of uh, twenty twenty. We don't even play them play them in the month of April, and then when we do play them, it's like in like late May. So uh, yeah, guys, when the season starts in twenty, we obviously open up in Miami. But we don't even like play Miami. We don't even play uh, DC and Washington until uh, we play them in Philly in like late late May. But we don't even you know play them in the beginning of the season pretty much. But I think I'm going to Washington DC next July, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, guys, so uh, enough of that with this game. It's going to wrap up my final thoughts. Hoskins was horrible in the series. He looked terrible. Striking out, looking for walks. His head is in the wrong – he's just, he's, just, he's, he's just messed up. Like, I don't mean like, you know, like crazy, like, you know, insane. Like, I don't mean like a crazy person. But he's just – his swing's messed up. He's swinging late. He His bat speed isn't there. He just doesn't look comfortable. He just doesn't. 232. Absolutely horrible. Bryce Harper – Nice series. You get a rocket double tonight. Obviously, you get that that moonshot home run you hit last night. 
leaves the series with 100 RBIs, 98 walks, uh, 33 home runs. Uh, he, he's, he could get 35. He's going to at least 35, maybe even 36. Two home runs in Washington and a home run against Miami. I am calling it, boys. Can I? I mean, I've been right on a couple calls this year, have I not? I think I'm. I think I'm calling it. Two runs in DC. He's gonna hit at least one, at least one in DC, and he's gonna hit another one in uh, against Miami. So I am so pumped for this series. Could he do it against Max Scherzer? Could he do it against Max Scherzer? Could he do it? I would love to see it. I would love to see it. And this is obviously, I mean, I, as I said, I'm not looking forward to it. We're not gonna make the playoffs. But I'm just looking for a, a Bryce home run against Max Scherzer. First pitch, first pitch, dinger. Would that not be awesome? Or, or, he's already did it to Strasburg in, like, April against when we were in Citizens Bank. He's already got Strasburg on a three-run shot. Could he do it? To, uh, he's going to do it at some point against Scherzer. Why not do it right now? Why not do it in this upcoming five-game series? Do it. Do it. He's going to hit a home run. He's going to hit a home run this series. At least at least one. At least one. I think he's going to hit two. I'm so, 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 so looking forward to this series. I really, really am. I I, I tell you what, this is Bryce. This is this is who he is. He's going back to Washington. He's going to get booed. This is going to – he's he's going to love this. He's going to love it. He, he's, he's probably pumped. I just I just love this man. I'm so happy we have Bryce Harper. I really, I'm so happy this man is on our team. He's just fantastic. Just watching him play day in and day out. It's just it's just so awesome. He's like a movie watching this guy play every day. I just I just love this man, man. He's just so good for this team. Fantastic. I couldn't be happier. Um, I'm just praising this man. I've been praising him pretty much all year. I've had my I've had my you know times where I've kind of you know criticized him a little bit, but this man ain't the problem. 33 home runs, 100 RBIs, 98 walks. Not the problem. Not too shabby. Just get that average a little bit higher, and then you'd be good. I think he's hitting like. Think about this. He's hitting 331 with uh, runners on base. 331. That is one point higher than his batting average in 2015, which was 330. And he's hitting he's hitting 194 with bases empty. I mean, that's pretty bad with bases empty. 194. If he can get that 194 batting average and keep that bases with uh, with runners on base average the same and get that batting at, uh, with Benji's bases empty, like around like 250, 260, he could be a 300 hitter. He could do it. People say he's never going to hit 300 again. That I mean, may, maybe they're right, but he could do it. He just needs to get that, that bases empty batting average a little bit prettier. He could do it. So I'm not worried about Bryce. So that's it. Uh, so let's give some series uh, predictions here. We got five games in Washington. And I've been looking forward to this. This has been marking my calendar since June, since we left Washington. Like June, the beginning of the summer. 7 of 5, last time we played Washington was in July, like mid July, like 14th. I think it was my, my mom's, that's my mom's birthday. I remember we were like out to dinner. I think we were like playing the Nationals. So. Yeah, that was in uh, yeah mid July. Um, yep, yep, yep. It was right after the All Star break. Yeah, that's what I said. Fourteenth and for the twelfth uh, for the fourteenth. So yeah, so that's when we played last played DC. So the first game, seven of five, uh, Monday twenty third. Eflin nine and twelve, the four ERA. He's been very good his past couple starts. Could he build off of that? I remember at the beginning of the year in DC at an outing, he pitched pretty well. So he's nine and twelve with the four ERA going against Patrick Corbin thirteen and seven with the three point one. Oh, ERA. And in second game, one of five, the first pitches to start a doubleheader. Uh, for both teams, it is two to be determined, so I apologize about that. Then the second game, we got Aaron Nola, 12 and 6 with a 3.75 ERA. And I understand he has not been good in the month of September. But guess who's on the map for DC? Max Scherzer. Let's go. I'm looking, I'm gonna watch this. I'm, I'm gonna I'm analyze this game very good. I don't even care if we're not even gonna be playoffs. Max Scherzer 12, 10 and 7 with a 2.81 ERA. I'm so pumped up for this series. I'm so excited. I've never been so excited in months of September about baseball. Like honestly, like I'm so pumped. Harper, could we see it? Went at Tuesday night in Washington. First home run, career home run. Against Max Scherzer. Could we see it? I think we could. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Then uh, on Thursday, we got Drew Smiley, 4-7, and seven, with a 6.44 ERA. 
going against Anibal Sanchez, 10 and 8 with a 3.9091 oh, ERA. This guy was like like 0 and 6 at the beginning of his career at DC, but he's really started to pitch better. And then the finale game, 4 of 5, the first pitch. Jason Vargas, 7 and 8 with a 4.4. Four zero. We are going to get Steven Strasburg, another one of Bryce Harper's former teammates, 12, uh, 17 and six with a three point three seven ERA. So Harper's going to have to face Corbin, uh, Scherzer, and Strasburg. Two of them were former teammates. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I do not know who's going to go to that one hundred five game. Uh, that is to be determined. So seven hundred five tomorrow night. One hundred five um, on. Um, Tuesday, and then you got 7 of 5. I'm going to make a video uh, probably in the morning recapping tomorrow night's game on Tuesday morning. Then we got uh, 7 of 5 Thursday, and then we got uh, or Wednesday, and we got 4 of 5 on uh, Thursday. So, guys, and then we play Miami to finish off the season three game series. So, guys, that is pretty much it. Washington, D.C., 7 of 5, the first pitch. Phillies, Nats, uh, Corbin versus Eflin. We'll see what happens here. Uh, it's going to be tough going against uh, Patrick Corbin, the devastating slider. What will Bryce Harper do? Could he jack a home run against Patrick Corbin? I hope so. Let's go, Harper. Now batting for the Phillies. I I just want to say something really funny. Like going back and watching old video of when the Nationals used to announce Bryce Harper's name. We're like, now batting number 34, Bryce Harper. And like the fans used to clap, and now he's like, right fielder, Bryce Harper. And I'm like, boo. So uh, that's what you're going to be here tomorrow night. Boo. And Bryce Harper steps up to the plate. Tune in. I'll see you all later. And we're going to want to stick it in Bryce Harper's face. A pizza place in, in Washington is having $3 pizzas for every time Bryce Harper strikes out. So, yeah, guys, they, they hate Harper. <laughs> National fans are so salty. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please smash the like in this video. Please tell your friends if you just please, 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 please subscribe if you have not yet. Put it on that notification bell. And I'm going to make a video about the Eagles now. And uh, I will. that's going to be a little bit heated. So I'll talk to you all later. 7 to 5, first pitch, Washington. Corbin Eflin. I'll talk to you all later.